Hi friends, I'm Steve at Boston Children's Museum and thank you for joining us for story time. Since this is the first week of spring, I thought it'd be fun to read this book, which is one of my favorites. It's called The Curious Garden by Peter Brown. There once was a city without trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. And there is a picture of the city, all sort of gray and brown. You can see there are lots of buildings with smokestacks and, and smoke. However, there was one boy who loved being outside. Even on drizzly days, while everyone else stayed inside, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. And there he is, walking through the puddles. It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway, as he did from time to time, when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the tracks. The railway had stopped working ages ago, and since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. So there he is. There's Liam with his umbrella. He's exploring the tracks. Oh, and now he's gotten to the stairwell. And he's going to go up and see what's up there. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Wildflowers and plants were the last thing he had expected to find up there, but when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Let's see, so there's Liam, and he's looking at that little bit of color. There's some plants, but the plants aren't doing too well. They need Liam's help. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew what he could, excuse me, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. So here he is giving some water to the plants, maybe a little too much. Here he is pruning the, uh, the bush. Oh, and here he is. What's he doing? What's coming out of his mouth here? Liam is singing to his garden. I love that. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener. And the plants began to feel like a real garden. And there you can see. Is giving some water to his garden, and now it's not brown anymore. It's all turned green and growing. <clears throat> Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up farther and farther down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. So here we are. You can see the, the wooden planks and the railroad tracks, and that's where the plants start to grow first, growing out of the decaying wood, starting with the weeds and the mosses and the lichen, and then they're followed by more and more plants and flowers. Over the next few months, Liam and the Curious Garden explored every corner of the railway. And there you can see, so we have the city like we saw before with all the buildings and smokestacks, only this time the railway is now covered with green grass, plants, and flowers. And here we go. So you can see Liam surrounded in a field of flowers there's some birds and butterflies in the background.
still lots more room for the garden to grow and explore. After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season, and for the first time since he'd become a gardener, Liam could not visit the plants. Oh, so see all the snow has fallen, and there's Liam in the distance with his sled. He's going to go sledding. Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt, and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. So there's Liam. He's reading about gardening while there's, it's cold and there's snow outside. And here he is with all of his gardening equipment. I see, let's see, a shovel, a rake. He's got that same gardening book, a watering can. He's got a, a hat so he doesn't get sunburned. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city, and that spring it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up farther and farther from the railway and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. So you can see the railway is overflowing with flowers and plants, and they're creeping down, starting to cover that building below. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. Ooh, like this old car. You see how it's now filled with plants and there's a bush that's growing up through that, through that window. A few plants popped up where they didn't belong. Uh-oh, you can see a vine has covered the stop sign. You're going to want to be able to see that. Oh, and another vine has wrapped itself around the fire hydrant, and so Liam is pulling it loose. Other plants mysteriously popped up all at once. Hmm, this pot of flowers just popped up in front of this man's door. Oh, and what's Liam doing here? You can see he's kind of very sneakily depositing a little patch of garden on the sidewalk. He's kind of like the, the Banksy of gardeners. But the most surprising things that popped up were new gardeners. And look at how many people are gardening now. Now this whole city is being covered in different gardens. You have some fields of flowers. It looks like maybe a vegetable garden. Right, what do we see here? I see Liam, it looks like he's a little older, going on a picnic. Someone walking in bare feet over stairs that are covered in grass. People playing on giant lily pads. Some bushes that are cut in the shape of animals. I see a giraffe, an elephant, uh, maybe a moose. Many years later, the entire city had blossomed, but of all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began. Oh, and there's Liam. You can see he's older now, but still pruning that same bush, which is much bigger, and he has some friends or maybe family with him. And this is where the garden started. Oh, last page, and look at the city now covered in gardens and plants and flowers and windmills. And that's the end of the story. So thank you for joining me for story time and be sure to check out Boston Children's Museum Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook accounts for uh, more fun activities, story times, how-to videos, things you can do at home. See you next time!